guys, keep behind it. Well, the last time these two sides met, Papua New Guinea won by 50 points to six in Port Moresby five years ago in 35 degrees of heat and 98% humidity. How do they go on a wet Monday night in Doncaster? And this is the last outing for them. They're just going to do the basics well. Unfortunately, there's the first mistake with a big hit. Papua New Guinea have really made a real strong statement during this World Cup that they actually are a power in the world of rugby league. Get through the set, find themselves a good platform to get the kick downfield, maybe. That's good offloading, though. Nixon put on this left-hand side. Here's Olam. Olam trying to shake off defenders and gets Nutlick away. Nutlick looking for support inside. The ball's gone to ground. It's a slip and a slide. How many knock-ons there? At least a couple. Wells get head and feet at the scrub. Ipape wants a quick one. Back on the inside for Albert. Albert posts it left. Lamb now throws it wide to Olam. Olam with a step back on the inside, bouncing off defenders. What a bully offload that was, and just keeping it alive. The Welsh had to do well to recover there. They're under pressure on their own line. Ipape again. Ipape sees a gap, goes for it. Just about a foot short of where he wants to be. Albert now. Here's Labour. Labour, he's going to go on the outside and he's going to score. Grabbed out by Antrobus, no more than that. And Labour skids through and Papua New Guinea get the start they want with that early try. And that's the threat that Papua New Guinea's halves offer you. you. Papi, Lamb, Lamb short pass. Nixon put the second row up, drag to the ground. Welsh defenders scrambling around at the moment. Ipape will try a bit of more magic here. Throwing it out, back to Alec again. Alec just robust and challenging, but Wales hanging on. Last tackle, last tackle. Can Wales survive here? Ipape goes left, the reach for the line, and Nixon Pott, Nixon Pott is there to score. It's heartbreak for Wales this early, but Papua New Guinea are looking to entertain here ahead of that big match against England. 64% possession for PNG so far. Reflected in a scoreline, 12 points to nil. They're going to have to figure how they deal with Justin Nolan. He's making too many yards. Another, another set of six. So has to get up and play, and now it comes to Ralph. Ralph on the inside, they're trying something a little adventurous here. Walker helps it on its way. It's into the foot of all to slide that kick. Really good kick into the in goal area. Yeah, better, better kick to finish this set. Reese Williams winning his 33rd tonight. He extends his record. Walker looking to pull it back. There's the kick towards the corner. Here's Kyle Evans on the chase, and it... Bounced out again off of Papua New Guinea. No, came last off Welsh hands. Folds had just put their ball just a little bit longer. I think we would have seen Wales first try. Oh, these are fantastic conditions for rugby league, aren't they? <laughs> Brilliant conditions. <laughs> Pouring down. You can hear it hammering on the roof now. That's how hard the rain is. Oh, it's on. Good. Well, they're serving up some brilliant Easy entertainment week. here because this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic from Jimmy Notlick. The winger saw a gap. Thought I'll have a go. And Jimmy Notlick, only his second international appearance, scores his first Papua New Guinean try. And he sparked a party in Mount Hagen and Port Moresby. A number of those Welsh players are starting to get tired. Just identifying those tired players and a player like this, too quick. How fast is he? Fast enough. Yeah, that was just once he brought the first line, there was no catching him. Between two, two tired forwards, quick tap, and he's away. There's no one catching him. Ipape looking to deliver. Back on the inside for Russell and Lamb, and Lamb goes further left to put. And this time there's no way through for Nixon Potts. And Papi goes back towards Russell, and he's going to get there. Ball on the whitewash, that's good enough. Fourth try for Papi New Guinea. 22 points to nil, they lead now. They are putting on a show here, Papi New Guinea. They are putting on a real show. They're, they're sending out a message to the rest of this tournament. We were talking about England, Australia, New Zealand and Tonga and Samoa before the tournament began. Do we have to put Papua New Guinea in that reckoning now? Inside for Ollie Olds. Olds now to Ralph. Ralph back again. Aikens gets it away. This is good. Will Evans on this right-hand side. Will Evans 
too tight to the touchline to try and pass to Kyle. Kyle Evans now will pick it up. The best position the Welsh have had for a long, long time, but they're on the last. Josh Rell puts it high, too high. Easy take for the Papua New Guineans. And because it's a, a tap restart, they can get on with it as quickly as they can. And they are suddenly attacking from a defensive position. Nenny MacDonald eventually tackled, but on the halfway line, and they've yeah. got another six tackles to go. Yeah, that's smart play for Nenny. Count on it, Saturday oh. afternoon. Here's Elliot Keir. Oh, Isn't there a storm coming? Good offload by Keir. Uh, Antrobos, Antrobos making a break, a dash. A dash from Antrobos has taken Wales inside the Papi New Guinea half. It's with Ralph. They've got a bit of room on this right hand side. Oh, my word, my word. Well, they saw daylight and suddenly went all dark again because Jimmy Nutley was there with that big shoulder. Once he's caught there, he has absolutely oh. no chance. That's a lonely place to be, I can tell you that. Uh, and keep them to nil, that would be such a boost going into the quarter-final. Well, there's a big defensive effort from Papua New Guinea. Wales can't get off the line, they're pushed back behind their line. It means they have to drop out underneath their sticks. It means all things being equal. Pape skids it left. Lamb! And he's going to reach, as he? No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, he's not far away, but he's not going to be able to put the ball down. Good effort from the Welsh defence. Another big crash, bang, wallop effort. And this Easy. time it is Nixon Putt who gets over the line to score. There was a sense of inevitability about all of that. The Welsh can defend, but for how long can they defend? Well, in the end, they run out of juice. And Nixon Butt is there to force his way over. Really is. Last play. Here comes the kick from Lachlan Lamb. Underneath it, it's taken superbly well. Is that Kyle Evans on that far side? And here he comes. Wow, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Fantastic by Evans. Still going, still going. Great run. Lachlan Lamb back on the inside to that kick from the uh, Lay but the standoff, and it's just about scrambled to safety. Olds spinning it back to the middle. Walker helps it on its way. Ralph now with a kick towards the corner. It's going to be caught, is it? No, it's not. It's it's rescued on that far side. <laughs> well, they crash into the advertising hoardings, but a, a, a friendly little shake of the hands there between uh, Evans and Nutlick. Ralph is slow to his feet. It comes with Olds. Olds just slides it through into the in goal area, and it's shuffled away. It's another drop out yeah, underneath the that's, sticks. That's better from Wales. That's Working it. it towards that right hand side. Ralph puts yeah. it out. Good and feet. Caleb Aikens. Aikens threatening something special. Offside. Yeah, it's a differential penalty. So here they come again. Here they come again. Can they get through this Papua New Guinean wall of defence? Resistance has been brilliant. Denyan. The first to have a go, short pass again, trying to burrow their way over, can't get in. So he was stopped, Davis again, just trying to push, just trying to push, Buck! Oh, great defensive yeah. effort from Russell, Darren Russell. Russell, in Russell there. hustling there. And had to be, there's still an opportunity, and on the last play, it's wasted, I think, Curtis Davis going out from W half. And a big pat on the back again for Dan Russell for his defensive efforts there. Yeah, that face says it all, I think. It's Curtis behind him, Walker helps it on. Papua New Guinea just soaking this up. Ah, good defence there. Just pushing back at everything Wales throw at them here. Rodri Lloyd plays, Curtis Davis skips out. It's with Ralph, Ralph switches it to that right-hand side. Carl Evans, oh, he's lost the ball. Carl Evans. Thought he was over, and I tell you, he over. wasn't far away. And since then, they've been in command. Labour it is now who puts the ball up yeah. in the air. Kyle Evans. Oh, it's bounced away from him. They're queuing up here. They're queuing up, and they're over for another. Nutlick. He went a long way to score his first. He hardly had to travel for his second. And Papua New Guinea with their. Sixth try of the night. Yeah, again, a very, very good kick. They've had some great hang time on their up and unders, the Papua New Guineas have. That was a spiral punt, Jeffrey. Yeah. Have you stood under one of them before? It was, yes, I have. Oh, they're horrible, aren't Not they? Nice. They come down, trajectory oh. up, they, it floats away from you. Here comes Walker, picking up the speed and brushing them off. 
The big Welsh roar is going up now around Doncaster. A minute and 15 to go. Can they get this try? Ralph on that right-hand side. Taken on again by Lloyd. Spinning and offloading and keeping it alive. Wales still with an opportunity. Benyon now. Less than eight metres to cover. But look at those big bodies in front of them that provide a formidable resistance. Maybe they can chip over the top of them. Ralph puts it up, but it's taken down by Nutlick. Nutlick, a try scorer on a couple of occasions, is a try saver on this. Yeah. It's been a gritty performance, though. This half, gritty performance from Wales. Well, terrific effort from the Welsh throughout this World Cup, but tonight we've seen a class performance in the rain here in Doncaster by Papua New Guinea, who now head off for a quarter-final tie against England on Saturday afternoon. What a job he's doing, Stanley Teppen, and his players on the field as well.